In this video, we are going to discuss about buck converter, which is also known as step down converter. A buck converter will convert DC voltage into DC voltage. There will be a source voltage which is DC and we will get an output voltage which is also DC but it is a step down converter. Therefore, the output voltage will be less than the input voltage. Okay, now coming to the diagram, we will have a source voltage. So, I am going to draw a source voltage which is a DC voltage. So, this is my source voltage. It will be connected to a switch. The switch can be a transistor, it can be a BGT, IGBT or MOSFET. Currently, I am drawing it as a switch. Then that switch will be connected to an inductor. Then it will be connected to a capacitor. This inductor and capacitor will act as a filter circuit. I will say how later. Okay. Then I will connect a resistor. It is a, my load. The load can be inductive also, but currently I am drawing it as a resistor. Okay. Now I am going to connect the ground. Okay. Now when the switch will be off, we need to circulate this inductor current. For that, I am placing a diode. This is the circuit of buck converter. And it will have two mode of operation. That is, this is our switch. Switch S. So when switch is on, that is mode 1 of operation. Then in mode 2, switch will be off. So there are two modes of operation. One is when switch is on and the other one is when switch is off. So first of all, we can discuss the mode 1, operation mode 1. When switch is on. So when switch is on, the switch will be connected. So the remaining circuit will be like this. We will have a source voltage. When switch is on, the circuit will be connected. Then this from source voltage, positive current is coming. Positive current coming and it will go down and also it will go here. When it goes down, the positive current and negative end of the diode then it will become reverse biased so here it will be open circuit because current will not flow through this diode the remaining current will flow through this inductor the current will flow only through the inductor when a current flows through inductor the inductor will store energy the inductor will store energy so then inductor store energy then the remaining current will flow to the capacitor and also to the load so this will be the circuit when switch is on now we can discuss about the circuit when switch is off when switch is off this circuit will be open circuited then the remaining circuit will be diode then inductor will be there then capacitor will be there and also resistor this will be the circuit when switch is off switch is off so this part is not connected this part is not connected because switch is off so this is the circuit when switch is off so when switch is off the source voltage is not connected to the load as we said when switch was on the inductor will store energy when switch is off the stored energy in the inductor will be released through the capacitor and also to the from the resistor the stored energy will release to the capacitor and also to the inductor and it will circulate through the diode. This will be the operation even switch is off. From this circuit we can find that our source voltage it is Vs and the voltage will go through the inductor. So the voltage across inductor we are denoting it as Vl. So the voltage will drop here. So Vl then the voltage will drop across the capacitor. As we can see here, the capacitor and resistor are connected in parallel. Therefore, the voltage across capacitor will be same as voltage across our output resistor. So Vc will be equal to our output resistor Vo. This is Vc, voltage across capacitor and this is Vo, voltage across output. So these two voltages will be equal. So we can write Either we can write Vc or we can write Vo because both are same. So this is the equation that we are getting from this circuit. From this circuit we can find that inductor, there was a stored energy in the inductor. That inductor will release energy. When it releases energy it will act as a current source. So inductor will have a current. I am going to denote it as IL. The inductor will release the current 
and it will flow through the capacitor that current is IC and also to the output. So the inductor current IL will be equal to IC plus I0. These are the two equations that we are getting from the circuit. Now I am going to draw the waveform. First of all there is a source voltage. So we can draw the source voltage waveform with respect to time axis. And this is our source voltage waveform. Our source voltage is a DC voltage. So I am going to draw a DC voltage. This is our source voltage. Now that source voltage will provide a source current. So I am going to draw my next graph will be source current with respect to time axis source current. Okay. So there are two mode of operation switch is on and switch is off. So this is time axis. So there will be two mode of operation that is when switch is on then switch will be off. So total time T on plus T off will be our total time. Okay. So this is the graph. Now when switch is on our source voltage will provide source current and this current will flow through the inductor, capacitor and resistor. These all elements are linear elements. Therefore, our current will rise linearly. Okay. Linearly our current will rise till T on. When switch is off, our source voltage is not connected to the circuit. Therefore, there will not be any source voltage or source current. Therefore, there will not be any source voltage or source current. So current falls to zero. Then during T off, there is no source current. Then again, our T, the circuit, again switch is on. Then again, the current will rise linearly. Then when T is off, the current will fall to zero. Then it will be going like that. Okay. So this is the graph of source current. Now we can draw. Okay. We reached the source source then source current then we will reach inductor inductor first of all i will draw inductor current waveform then i will draw inductor voltage waveform so this is inductor we completed source now inductor first of all i will draw inductor current so there are two points t on and t off okay during t on when switch is when switch is on whatever source voltage or source current is going it will go through inductor also. So whatever be the source current, the same will be there in the inductor. So inductor current will increase linearly here also. Same as source current. Okay. When switch is off, here we can see that inductor there is current. That current, it is discharging through the capacitor and output. The current is discharging. So this was the stored energy or stored current and that current will discharge. Then again when switch is on, the inductor will store energy, same as our input voltage. So in, inductor will store energy. So when again switch is off, inductor will discharge. Like that, this is the graph of inductor current. For this graph, we can see two points. This is minimum point and this is maximum point. This point I am going to write it as I1, that is minimum point. And this point I am going to write it as I2. And the change, you can see a change from I1 to I2. That change I am going to write it as delta I that is I2 minus I1 change in current or this delta I is known as ripple current for re removing the ripples we are using inductor and capacitor we are using a filter circuit for removing the ripples there will be ripples in current and also there will be ripples in voltage ripples in current is removed by inductor and ripples in voltage will be removed by the capacitor now we can draw the now we draw inductor current, now we can draw inductor voltage, that is VL, inductor voltage. So VL, with respect to time, we draw the graph, okay. So what is VL? As we know from this equation, Vs equal to VL minus V0. From this equation, we will get VL equal to Vs minus V0, okay. When switch is connected, it is Vs minus V0. What is our Vs? Vs is this thing. What is V0? V0 we don't know. But we know that for V0, suppose think that this is the graph of V0. This is a step down converter. So this is Vs, DC voltage. For V0 will be less than this DC voltage. 
because it is a step down converter so vs will be this is our vs and v naught will be less than our vs voltage because it is a step down converter okay this is our desired output voltage graph okay but we will not get this desired value we will get an another value i will show okay so inductor voltage is the difference of source voltage and output voltage source voltage is this one and output voltage is this one so we will get inductor voltage inductor voltage up to t on we will get it as like this then when t off when switch is off source voltage is removed from the circuit so what we will get from this equation we will get vl equal to minus v naught minus v naught so v naught is this thing it will be minus if this is 5 we will get minus 5 so the graph will go to the negative side negative side till time t so this value will be minus v naught okay okay then again when switch is on the inductor voltage will be the some difference of source voltage and output voltage so we will get the graph like this okay this is the graph of inductor voltage now we completed inductor current and inductor voltage now we can draw capacitor current and capacitor voltage so first of all we can draw capacitor current capacitor current so this is time axis and this is the graph of capacitor current okay we need to get capacitor current as we know from this circuit il equal to ic plus i naught from this we will get ic equal to il minus i naught we know the value of il we know the waveform of il but we don't know the waveform of i naught but we know that if we are going to draw the waveform of i naught this is i naught with respect to time t okay the i naught during t on the induct the supply voltage will be providing current and that current will flow through the output okay so we will get the whatever input voltage input current we are giving we will get that current now we can draw the output waveform of i naught with respect to time our i naught that is our output current i naught okay when t is on when switch is on our source voltage will provide current and that current will be going through the output okay so we will get according to our source current is this one but we will not get a current that is linearly rising because this linearly rising current is due to ripples and this filter circuit inductor and capacitor is there those circuit will act as a filter circuit those filter circuit will eliminate ripple as you can see this is ripple current those will eliminate the ripple and we will get a constant dc current okay during t of the inductor will provide current so the output is getting continuously the output is getting current when t is on the output is getting current when t is off the inductor will provide the current here also the ripple is removed by the inductor and capacitor filter so we will get a constant dc current so this will be the waveform of current now from this waveform we know that ic is equal to il minus i naught il is this one and i naught is this one okay as we can see at this point the value of il is here and i naught is here so it is the difference okay suppose if this value is 5 ampere and this value is 8 ampere then 5 minus 8 what we will get we will get a negative value so capacitor current start from a negative point then it will increase linearly because these are linear elements then it will increase linearly and up to t on it will increase then after t on after t off during t of the source will be eliminated and the inductor will provide the current so the capacitor current will start to discharge then again it will charge during the next time so this is total time t okay during t on the capacitor will charge so this is the waveform of capacitor it reaches negative because it is the difference of i l minus i naught we have i l here we have i naught here Suppose if this is 5 ampere and this is 8 ampere, then 5 minus 8 we will get a negative value. So the capacitor current is a negative value. So at time t equal to 0, it will be negative. 
then it will increase linearly then when switch is off the inductor will provide the current and the capacitor current will start to discharge then again when t is on the capacitor will charge like that okay so as we can see here the capacitor is charging in this area and it will discharging in this area okay now i am going to draw the capacitor waveform okay capacitor waveform we completed drawing capacitor current now we are going to draw capacitor waveform as you can see here capacitor and the output are connected in parallel so when devices are connected in parallel the voltage will be same so capacitor voltage will be same as output voltage so both this voltage will be same and we know our output voltage this is output voltage our desired output voltage is a dc voltage desired value not actual value that we are getting so desired value it will be a dc voltage i am going to write it as dc voltage but here we can see by looking at the capacitor current waveform the capacitor is charging so when current is zero we will plot here okay when current is zero at this point current is zero at that time we will get maximum voltage maximum then at this point current is maximum so voltage will be minimum then again current is decreasing at this point current is zero so voltage will be maximum voltage will be maximum then again at this point current is maximum so voltage will be zero then again at this point current is zero so voltage will be maximum then again current is maximum here so voltage will be zero like that the wave will go but here we can see this is not the actual value that we need this is also dc but this is a this is like a pulsating dc right we need the desired dc to be a constant output voltage so we are getting a pulsating like dc voltage so this error or this change in voltage is what we call ripple voltage delta vc that is our ripple voltage so there are totally eight waveforms three circuits and eight waveforms source voltage source current output voltage output current inductor current inductor voltage capacitor current capacitor voltage so we need to draw this eight waveforms and three circuits in the next video we will discuss how to write the equation for finding ripple current ripple voltage output voltage all those kind of equations we will discuss it is essential to find the inductor value and capacitor value to design the filter circuit okay we will discuss it in the next video